thought it just didn't work. How do you diagnose kind of how things went so well for you to start this game with you know, getting Cat out of rhythm and then the way that fourth quarter unfolded? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I thought we executed the game plan. Um, Cat was obviously the main focus. Um, but, you know, it's the reason why this team is playing at a high level and, and they're moving on and they've deserved a playoff spot. Um, they have a talented roster. Um, so when Cat goes down, D'Lo steps up, Anthony Edwards steps up. Um, and then their role guys, uh, they shine in their roles. Um, so uh, it's really what happened. Um, that fourth quarter, 50-50 um, balls we, we didn't get. Um, we didn't rebound well enough. Um, and uh, I thought we just didn't execute great down the stretch. So, I mean, you guys know Pat is famously an irritant, but he still <laughs> seems quite quite irritating. Um, like, how, how did you guys deal with him, and how did sort of his his energy kind of affect you guys? But also, what has he what has he done for this team or for his team? Um, I mean, it, it, it shows. I mean, you got they got guys um, that are a little bit more confident, um, and uh, you know his energy and his persona, um, you know, rubbed off on. Uh, it made an impact on that roster. So um, I knew what it was coming into this game. So I wasn't going to allow Pat to, you know, do his antics and try to get me flustered. Um, I knew what it, it's, it's, it's all for show. Um, it's for the crowd, gets the crowd involved. I love it. You know, I love it. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it. You do it on our, on, on, on our side. Um, Cause it's contagious, but uh you know, I think when he's in that that mode, it ignites the team, it ignites the arena. And, um, you know, you need energy guys like that. Paul, did you did you feel a difference in how Minnesota was guarding on me? You mentioned the physicality of the 50-50 balls, but the third quarter, you found you found a rhythm. And obviously, the whole team really didn't have that rhythm to, to close it out. Do you, do you feel like there was a difference in how they were guarding you uh, first half, second half? Yeah, I mean, I thought the beginning was more just excitement, um, playoff atmosphere, you know, so it was just more of the excitement. Um, I was rushing things, uh, but after the game settled, took my time um, and realized the shots and the opportunities I was getting, just start shooting with confidence and, and taking my time on those uh, possessions. So that's what I did. I got to my spots. Um, I'm, you know, most confident every time I touch the floor. Um, it's just about, you know, focusing and locking in on the shots that I get. Um, I did that, and um, I was able to knock shots down. When you look at this matchup Friday, obviously just as fresh, but how do you kind of get yourself mentally ready for uh, what's to come Friday night, and, and how do you plan on kind of getting yourself ready for what those two teams, the Spurs and Pelicans, can offer? Um, honestly, it's not even about the matchup. Um, it's win or go home. Obviously, if we don't win, we go home. Um, I could care less who we play. Uh, the mindset is we have to win regardless. There's no, you know, <clears throat> you know, pep talk, X and O's. We got to win. We got to win if we want to continue our season. Thank you. Thank you.